I recall we told you earlier that six persons, mainly children, have died of diphtheria disease in Kaduna State, with 12 others hospitalized in Kafanchang area of the state. We have joining us now the Program Chief Epidemi Epidemiologist at the Kaduna State Ministry of Health, Dr. Jeremiah Daikwa. Thank you for joining us on News Across Nigeria. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, let's start by commiserating with you, with the state, on the loss of uh, six persons who are mainly children. It's rather sad, and we hope that uh, there's no uh, reoccurrence of this. And as we continue, uh, following the governor's directive to the state Ministry of Health to deploy a team to curtail this, what have your findings, uh, what have you come up with in terms of findings, the index case, um, index case as it's called, and um, you know, outcomes of contact tracing? Yes, uh, following the directive of the executive governor of Kaduna State, the team, a rapid response team was deployed to Kafanshan to investigate the outbreak. And uh, we have been there since yesterday. And uh, what we find was that the illness started about two weeks ago, precisely the index case on the 4th of, of uh, July, where with symptoms of cough, fever, sore throat, and difficulty in breathing. Uh, the case was not reported to the hospital, and eventually, after 48 hours, the patient died. And uh, that raised alarm. Uh, other people were infected. So as at yesterday, our finding revealed that about 17 people were infected with six deaths, and uh, we are still doing uh, uh, active case search and contact tracing stuff today to identify more cases. About 12 people were admitted yesterday in the hospital, and uh, one was discharged. The remaining 11 are still receiving treatment. And more cases are being located in the, in the affected community and they are being brought to the hospital at the moment. Thank you. You say more cases are being identified and are being brought to the hospital. Can you give a number, put a number to this? Yes, we have, as at, uh, uh, yesterday, we have 12 in the hospital. Our team are still on the field and they are still moving more to the hospital. At the end of today, we should have another figure because the figure teams are on the field and they are still working on the people who are in, infected and they are in the process of also moving into the hospital. As at yesterday, this morning, we have 12 on admission. Now, Dr. Diaikwa, you also say that uh, the index case was not re reported to the hospital. It speaks to um, awareness or the lack of it. Um, the diphtheria outbreak and the awareness by the NCDC has begun, you know, as far back as weeks ago when the index case and the FCT uh, reportedly died. Um, why has the state or have there been any sensitization programs in local governments in Kaduna and this still happened? Or why has there been uh, a lack of it, if there has been a lack of it? Now, actually, the, around May this year, we had a case in Makarafi local government and uh, which was managed uh, properly and the patient was discharged. That was the only case we recorded. And uh, since then, we have been doing sensitization. And we have not recorded any case since then. But, you know, uh, community people, when they have illness, some of them try to hide it and try to use local herbs until when it is out of hand before they report. So actually, um, the people, the, the community, I don't know, we don't really know what happened. They refused to report, trying to manage locally, or uh, eventually the patient died. It is after that they start raising alarm. That was when people got to know about that. People are having symptoms in the community. How long ago was this case in so Makarfi? Sorry. Yes, the awareness has been on since then. Since when? Yes, and our, our awareness has been on since then. Uh, just that we have not recorded cases in that May again until this, this one just happened. And the, the local community, I think they refused to report, trying to use local medication to really treat the case. You say, really since, you say since May. So the case in McCarthy happened in May. No, no, no. We had a case in McCarthy, another local government entirely, which was managed and the cases went down. And since that day, May, we have not recorded any other case in the state except this one that started just this uh, July. Okay. Um, we know from the NCDC, what the NCDC tells us, that there is... Uh, a diphtheria uh, vaccine, you know, to treat, to prevent rather, um, you know, diphtheria. Uh, so if there is uh, this vaccine, it, it suggests that the disease is avoidable. Why do we have this outbreak then? 
Yes, you know, um, during we have been doing campaign, vaccination, routine immunization have been given to the children. But of course, you know, some community, of course, because of rejection, some of them will reject this vaccine. And um, when they reject this vaccine, it will not show until when the disease surface. So that is the challenge we usually have. Some communities actually used to refuse the vaccine. And when they refuse this vaccine, until when the disease show before uh, you become, begin to discover that actually the community refused vaccination. So it's, it's part of the routine vaccination we have been given. And um, uh, of course, some communities, not 100%, some will take, some will refuse. But we actually have been working on them to, to ensure that uh, every community really accepts this vaccination. Um, you know, this disease appears to be mutating fast. You have, uh, six have died in Kaduna. And we also recorded uh, reports of death also in Yobe State. Should Nigerians be worried? Because some of, even some of the symptoms are reminiscent of COVID, shortness of breath, sore throat. Should Nigerians be worried? Of course, uh, whatever causes the death of any Nigerian, we should be worried. And they should create awareness, we should create an alert in every state for us to be on our toes to make sure we overcome this disease. We should be worried, actually. So how worried should Nigerians be? Yes, because the failure, it has happened in some, a lot of states. It started in Kano, in our own north, uh, west here, and now in Kaduna, and also Yobi, as you just, just as you have said. So we want, we don't want a situation where uh, the disease will spread to all the states in the country. So uh, the sensitization should continue immediately in all the states, and that's the way we can uh, avert this uh, disease. And also vaccination should also go on in all the states to make sure that children are prevented from these diseases. Thank you. And lastly, uh, Dr. Jeremiah, uh, what are the precautionary measures that Nigerians should be taking now so that they can uh, protect themselves? Yeah, the precaution we should be taking now is um, uh, if there's any child who is, who is sick with these symptoms, cough, fever, sore throat, difficulty in breathing, we should report the case immediately to the hospital. And we should avoid uh, coming in contact with those children. We should wear our face masks and also we should give a distance anytime we are uh, trying to deal with the patient and report any sick person to the nearest uh, hospital or facility. Thank you. We want to thank you very much. Dr. Jeremiah Daikwo is the chief epidemiologist at the Kaduna State Ministry of Health. Thank you very much for your time on News Across Nigeria. Thank you very much.